Hey guys, Shane Summers with DroidModernX.com and the other day I ran into this application that was stirring up a lot of controversy in the Android root community. Now this application says that it can pretty much root every single device that's out there. Uh, the way that it does this is it has found an exploit that works in pretty much every version of Android from Ice Cream Sandwich. So Ice Cream Sandwich, Jelly Bean, and now Kit Kat. It's said to have an exploit that works on all of those versions uh, and then all the variants of those ROMs on each device so uh, whether it be a Samsung HTC uh, or Motorola device LG device whichever device you have this application is said to be able to root it the way that it does it is it is totally closed source so nobody can take that uh, exploit and apply it to their own personal um, root method or their own root toolkit uh, this is strictly a Kingo app exclusive. This also means that OEMs and Android and Google themselves cannot patch this since it is so tightly secure uh, within their closed source application. All that being said, the reason that it's controversial is there have been uh, some rumors going around that this application does uh, install some malware on your device. So just so we're clear, all root applications have to use an exploit, so they're all going to show up in virus scans no matter what uh, because they're using an exploit to gain control uh, over your device for the use of super user. Uh, there was an application that was installed along with Kingo app uh, that's called the MTK camera that stirred up a little bit of controversy. You can kind of do some research on that application itself, but the big headline news story was that Kingo app uh, was potentially spying on you by taking over your camera. Uh, you know, why does it install the MTK camera application. I'm not really sure. Uh, are there little Chinese guys sitting around spying on thousands and thousands of people that have downloaded and installed this root application? Uh, that I'm not sure of either way. Uh, you need to be cautious with things that you do to your phone. It is a viable method for root on devices that otherwise wouldn't be rooted. So I know uh, not too long ago the developer of the root method for the Verizon Galaxy Note 3 design gear said to quit using his root method altogether and exclusively use the Kingo root method. Uh, so I'm going to show you guys real quickly how to do it. This is said to be a one-click root method. All you have to do is go to kingoapp.com. I'll include a link in the description. You'll hit the download link here. That's going to uh, download this file, the android root.exe. Okay, so we'll just open up the android root.exe that was downloaded. Click run. Yes. And we'll follow the wizard. Uh, we'll accept the terms here. Okay, and then we'll just install the root application. Okay, so you see the Kingo root application is here. Go ahead and finish the installation. We'll open up the Kingo root application. It says, please connect your device to the computer via USB. I'm working with a Galaxy Note 3. So we'll go ahead and connect uh, via USB here. Okay, so once you open up Kingo and connect your device, it should begin to download the device driver software. Just give it just a few moments to do that. Okay, and it's telling us to disconnect our device, so we'll disconnect it. And it will continue the process. Okay, when it finishes uh, downloading and installing the drivers, it'll say that it has succeeded and to reconnect your device. We'll go ahead and reconnect the device now. Okay, so once all the drivers are installed, you will see this screen. Uh, be sure that you do read the root notifications, and then if you agree to those terms, you will sit, uh, you will continue on and root. So we'll go ahead and click the root button. Okay, so it's just going to give you a play-by-play -play of what it is actually doing uh, here in the box. So we're going to kind of leave it alone, let it do its thing, and then we'll come back to it as soon as it's finished. Okay, so I noticed that it got to a point where it's just waiting for device and it just was kind of stuck there. I have this little notification on my device. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, click decline. Okay, and then it's going to continue the process. That was just Google saying that they would like to monitor activities uh, on my device. And so I declined that. You can accept that if you like. Okay, so I got this notification that says uh, installing this app may harm your device. So I'm going to go ahead and click I understand and install. Do that at your own risk. Uh, that's the MTK camera application. You can read up on it uh, on Google if it concerns you. 
I don't use this root method. If it's not of concern to you, then you can go ahead and use the root method. Okay, once it has installed the root, it's going to reboot your device as we see it's doing now. Okay, so uh, you can see that it has indeed installed Super SU. Um, if you wanted to check root, you can go to root checker and verify root access. Okay, it's asking for super user uh, request. We'll go ahead and grant that you are indeed rooted uh, thanks to the Kingo root application. Okay, once everything's finished, it will reboot your device again. It says root has succeeded. You can click the finish button here. This is the quickest and easiest one-click method to root any Android device. So this should work on 4.2.2, 4.3, and now 4.4. It's going to work on Samsung devices, HTC devices, Motorola devices, um, most devices out there. I can't say that it'll work on every single device, uh, but for the most part, it should work considering the fact that it is indeed a closed root method. So it's closed source. OEMs won't be able to patch it. Uh, it's one thing that I do like about it, but then again, with it being closed source, developers can't really dig into it and make sure that it is in no way harmful. So you have to kind of use it at your own risk, and that's kind of all I can say about that. Just uh, be mindful of what you're installing. You should be mindful of that stuff anyways, uh, regardless of what it is that you're installing. Just be mindful of what it is that you're installing. If you don't feel comfortable with it, just don't use it. But if you like that video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this on the Note 3 and other devices that I carry. Find more of me at DroidModerX.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me at DroidModerX where I'll have uh, some giveaways. I should be getting back to that soon. I've got a lot of cases. I just moved into a new house. We've got a box full of cases that need to be given away and some other uh, Android accessories that should be given away soon on that Twitter account. So be sure that you're following me there at DroidModerX. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.